Let's go back to habits. We talked about yours. Also, the people that you have seen successful, what are some of the habits that you have seen? Like, there's a, there's a little commonality in this person and that person. And, oh, I've seen Lance Armstrong do this. Or have I seen I mean, you know, Mike you know, do that? Or I've seen Russell. What is, it's not rocket science. Mm -hmm. you know? and, I, and I think that oftentimes people believe that it's rocket science. You know, it's some, this humongous, you know, it's, it's simply oftentimes, yes, most of these people may be gifted physically, but pretty hard work. So you, you usually go back to some real simplicities. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Russell Westbrook, you know, he was going for the 42 triple doubles and you know, he didn't have a particularly good night uh, when they played Phoenix. And he came back in the game. The game was about over. And he started chasing like, you know, he needed two assists. And he took himself out of the game, which I was pretty proud of him. But after the game, he went and shot for an hour and a half. Now, the average person would say, if I only needed two assists, then I would have broke the record. Guess what? He could have said, man, these guys can't even score. I mean, I've been getting them the ball. They can't put it in. I think that it's miraculous. It was no one else's fault. He never said somebody didn't do this. Mm -hmm. he went out for an hour and a half and practiced on the things that he did. And most successful people that I know, it's never anyone else's fault. They, they own. Take the ownership. And work towards it. 